the 2018 Chevy Equinox has it all. It has style, it has technology, performance, and safety. It does have it all. Plus, it has a lot of interior space. Yeah, climb in, take the wheel, and let the Chevy Equinox carry. We've been in the old Chestnut Hill space since 1975. We've renovated it a couple of times. At the end of the day, you know, it's a, it was a great location, but it really, we really needed to upgrade our image in terms of evolution. In speaking with the landlord, WS, we put together a plan where we have created this new space, and it's actually, you know, from a dining perspective, uh, I, I think very interesting. Once you walk in, you come to the fish market. So it's sort of a state-of-the-art fish market where you can get in and out in a hurry and the, the fish, the freshness of the fish is pristine. Then you go upstairs and you either go to the right, which is a more traditional feeling restaurant, uh, nicely appointed with an open kitchen. And then if you go left, you come into this sort of atrium greenhouse kind of scenario with a roof that, that opens and closes, and then you have the outdoor space. What to order? I mean, certainly one of the, the great, more popular dishes is the, you know, the lobster bake. I mean, you get your lobster, you get your corn, you get your chowder, some chorizo. You know, it's sort of the quintessential uh, lobster dinner. At this new space, we brought on a sushi, which we had never had in Chestnut Hill before. And there's the caterpillar roll, not with real caterpillars. You know, that's, that's more eel-centric. And then there's my favorite, the BLT. Roll. You know what the BLT roll is? Bacon, lettuce, and tuna. And, yeah. and, and that actually is one of the most popular uh, sushi rolls that we have on the menu. And certainly one of the reasons that people come here is at the raw bar. You know, the, the oysters, the jumbo shrimp, and fried clams. And not everyone does fried clams, and not everyone does fried clams well. But this is something that we've had on the menu since day one. Illegal seafood is very important for us to keep evolving. And just because something was great five, 10, or 15 years ago doesn't give you the opportunity to continue along. You have got to keep pushing the envelope to the next new dining experience. And we feel that we've achieved it here with our new Chestnut Hill location.